Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 32. All right. So before playing this song, we need to make sure it starts from the beginning. This can be achieved by the use of the current time property of the audio object, all right? So we're gonna add an if statement to check whether the user data optional chaining current song property is null, or if user data optional chaining current song.id property is strictly not equal to song.id. And inside the if block, we're gonna set the current time property to the audio object of zero, all right? So basically, we're checking to see if this is null on the song we're doing, or on any songs, I should say. Uh, because if it's null, then we can just say that this is the uh, current time of this instance is now zero. Or if the ID we're looking for, if we're on a different song than the ID we're looking for, we're just going to set it to zero then too, right? So let's do that. We'll say uh, if, let me bring this over one. If, uh, user data optional chaining current song strictly equals null or if user data user data dot no, no excuse me optional chaining current song does not strictly equal uh song Pardon me, dot ID on this one too. Dot ID does not strictly equal song dot ID. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set the audio dot current time property to zero like that, right? So let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 33, and we'll see you next time.